Hello, everyone, and welcome. This is SF Combat Extreme 16. It's been a long road to get here, and I want to thank everybody for coming out. I want to first thank all of our sponsors. A big thank you to the U.S. Army for coming out here. Allen Talling, Fusion Tile and Stone, Superior Builders, the IBW Local 180, the Iron Workers Local 378, Marlowe with High Energy Music, G3 Productions, and GFS, the Coliseum, Dent Solutions, and Shannon Newton's Photography. Starmer Photography, where are y'all at? Let's give him a, let's give, there it is, there he is. Let's give him a round of applause. Can I please have the U.S. Army to the cage? Can everyone please welcome Aria Talai to the cage. Aria Talai is nine years old and from Sonoma County. She'll be singing our national anthem. Can everyone please stand and remove your hats? Oh, say. That was amazing. Can we get another round of applause for Aria Talai? All right, before we start, I wanted to bring something to all of your attention. It comes with deep sadness that we announced the unexpected passing of one of our SF Combat family, Dr. Scott Berta. Uh, he was a big part of this community and also uh, mixed martial arts in California. Before I talk about him, I wanna have Steve and Dr. Smith say a little something. Uh, Scott was a talented neurosurgeon who had a passion for martial arts and uh, it was an easy sell to get him to come sit ringside with us and cage side with us and uh, 
and, and, and be a part of the medical you know, community for this, uh, uh, this family. All of you guys are part of this family and uh, it's a real loss for all of us. So I appreciate the honor and respect that he earned uh, at the cage side. You know, about a year ago, it's been almost two years ago, I broke my neck. And, and uh, you know, Dr. Berto is a uh, neurologist. So when I'm sitting in the hospital, I'm sitting there texting uh, Berta and, and sending him pictures of my x-rays and so on and so forth. It's like the comfort and knowledge that he was standing behind the, the work that the surgeon did just was so relieving to me to know that I actually had a, a potential future back to as close to normal as I possibly could be. Uh, if it wasn't for him, he's helped me out on several different occasions through clearing fighters and just being an all-around good guy. He helped me out with some uh, health health stuff, and you can't beat that guy. He's, he's amazing. We're going to miss him. So could we please stand, remove your hats. We're going to do a 10 count to honor Dr. Scott Berta and his family. If any of you knew Dr. Scott Berta, then you would understand and know how much of a caring and kind person that he was. He was definitely a, a shining light to a lot of the SF Combat family and everybody in the mixed martial arts community in our area and in California. So if you do see his family or know his family, please reach out to them and just let them know, you know that, that you care and that we're thinking about them. Thank you. All right, we have one more thing that we have to announce before we start. Can we please have Syed Hashemi to the cage? Syed, can you please come to the cage? Syed Hashemi, can you please come to the cage? So Syed, Syed has come a very, very long way to fight here at SF Combat. He has some family here. He's from out of country. Um, he came here ready to fight, but unfortunately, his opponent was unab unable to make it here today. So we wanted to honor him and thank him for coming out here, being ready to fight. And um, yeah, we apologize. Woo! Uh, hello, all of people. And five guys escaped from me. Don't want to fight with me. Sorry, guys. And I want to fight this time for the bell. Anyone have a bell cap, give it to me. Thank you, Syed. We'll get you back in the cage as soon as possible. Don't worry, we'll find an opponent. Just not today. Thank you.
And for our first bout of the evening, fighting out of the blue corner, please welcome German Doe. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are at SF Combat Extreme 16. We are here in beautiful Napa, California. Our first fighter coming out, German Dove. All right, man. I don't know if I can deal with this little whisper thing that you got going on tonight, Megatron. You're with Jim Cooley now, the voice of champions. Oh, Guys, yeah. we're live at the Napa Valley Expo. It is SF Combat. First fight of the night. American Kickboxing Academy's own German Doev. This is gonna be a good night of fights, brother. Definitely, definitely. My voice is already shot, right? I'm gonna be I'm gonna lose my voice. I need you to, you know, I need the I, I need gotta, the Megatron. I gotta pick it up to come out. I, I don't want I don't want Billy Ray tonight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, Jim Cooley, the voice of champions, along with the legend Megatron. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. We are here at beautiful Napa Expo. First fight of the night, Bantamweights, 135 pounds. And fighting out of the red corner, please welcome Toby Fuentes. Toby Fuentes, Tori Bio Fuentes. I just, by the way, just uh, was walking outside, saw my boy Gilbert Melendez, who I used to train with back in the day with Nick and Nate and all the guys at Torres' gym in Stockton. Brought him inside. This is his fighter right here. He came to watch this guy fight here tonight, Toby Fuentes. Got a couple guys on the show here tonight. I know uh, Miles Robinson will be fighting later on tonight. Yeah, El Nino always brings a big group of guys to get it on here at SF Combat. And we got Gilbert Melendez helping his fighter out right now. And there is Gilbert. UFC legend. Member of the Scrap Pack, the famed Scrap Pack. Northern California's finest, Nick Diaz, Nate Diaz, Jake Shields, Gilbert Melendez. You got some of the newer guys, Nick Maximov trains over there, Chris Avila, all those guys, uh, newer Scrap Pack members. Leslie Smith even, who we know pretty well. Wow. And she trains, of course, with Gilbert's wife. Uh, and I'm, now her first name eludes me. Same here. What is her? I forgot her name. She's Carrie still, Melendez. Yeah. Gilbert's going to smack me for that one, so is Carrie. <laughs> Got 10 big fights coming your way here tonight, guys, including our big main event of the evening. Sal Cuevas, Team Santos, takes on Joseph Trey Orlando, Cordero Martial Arts. That should be a good one. And just before that, Darren Peebles in Paea, Tuka Uafu. He is a Tongan. We talked to him a little bit ago. I was telling him I had a Tongan battle buddy in the military Megatron. His name was Lutu. When Drill Sergeant Klein didn't like what I did, he made me carry Lutu's big butt all over the place. <laughs> and that guy was big. Man, sounds like it. And that main event is a lightweight title fight. 155 pounds. Got our lovely ring And this girl. is SF Combat Extreme 16. I want to give a big thank you to the U.S. Army. Allen Talling, Fusion Tile and Stone, Superior Builders, Ohm Sellers, the IBEW Local 180, Iron Workers Local 378, Marlowe with High Energy Music, and G3 Productions. Thank you. Fighting out of the blue corner. This fighter weighing at 135 pounds. He stands five feet, six inches tall. With his debut, he's fighting out of AKA or American Kickboxing Academy coming from Milpitas, California. Please welcome German Doev. And fighting out of the red corner, this fighter also weighed in at 135 pounds. He stands five feet, four inches tall. He has a record of one win with three defeats. He's fighting out of Scrap Pack in South San Francisco, California. Please welcome Toby. Fuentes! Toby Fuentes, they call him Flash. Training out of El Nino. He has had two fights. And 
according to Tapology, anyway. He lost both those fights. His last fight was a loss to Anthony Doe back all the way back in 2013. This guy took a 10-year layoff, Megatron. Wow. And he looks he looks pretty young. He doesn't even look that old. Oh, nice. And his opponent has never fought German Doev. But Fuentes, as we said, training with uh, El Nino. Nice head kick to start it off. And I believe the blue and the red trunks with the scrap pack on them belong to Fuentes. The yeah. black trunks belong to Doev, who gets a double leg right there. Looking for a guillotine. Sinks it in. Is Fuentes. Uh, no arm in there. Yeah, he let it go. Is it so hard to land those these days, Megatron? Like, In the old days, everybody was landing yes. guillotines. Now nobody can finish them. Nobody it's falls really for it anymore. They've discovered the secret. Yes, this is, yeah, shoot with your head in the middle of the body instead of the side. Landing some shots. He's <laughs> keeping his posture down so he it's not landing really anything. Pardon the language in the corner there. <laughs> wow. This is the show you chose to bring your daughter to, Megatron. Oh, yeah. She comes to all of them, actually. <laughs> She's a veteran. <laughs> so on top right now is Doev in the close guard of Fuentes. Fuentes. Referee, referee Brian Tyler looks on. Go ahead, Megatron. I apologize. No, it's cool. Fuentes, Body shots. Fuentes doing a... Uh, doing his best to try to break posture there. And you, by the way, big, huge veteran of the jiu-jitsu community. I've seen you compete over the years. Bay Area jiu-jitsu, jiu-jitsu, Battle of the Bay, all those things. And you've been doing this a long time, so you know a lot about jiu-jitsu. That is, that is my thing. Yes. I do not engage in the punching and kicking. I just commentate on it. <laughs> big body shots coming into the ribs. Nice elbows, although they're illegal. And I'm not sure why Brian Tyler just watched those happen. Those are actually illegal strikes in camo, by the way. Right. Short time. And this round about is about two seconds. Two. Seconds. Referee Brian Tyler. Oh, this is SF know, Combat Extreme 16. It looked like elbows. It looked like he swung through. Of course, I'm way up here, so I right. you know, don't necessarily know. I did notice that they were significant. He probably would have stepped in. But his posture was down so low, I don't think they did much damage. Please join Round us for our after party at soon. Palisades Restaurant Napa and Brewery, Valley downtown Expo, Napa. SF Combat, Steve after party Barnett, at Palisades Donna Restaurant Muhammad, and Brewery, downtown Napa. And the team here, matchmaker Antonio Jimenez, putting some of these fights together for you along with Steve. Pretty big crowd here tonight. All the VIP tables are sold out. Those are the best spots in the house. Oh, yeah. The best spot in the house is next to Megatron. With a headset on. I agree, my friend. Next to you. I, <laughs> I'm honored. Glenn Gorman here. Competitive Fighting Sports. G3 Media. Glenn Gorman. Bringing you guys all the action. It's me, Jim Cooley, and my boy, Megatron. The big guy's Megatron. The little guy's Jim Cooley. I don't know about that. You're pretty big, bro. I lost a lot of muscle mass, brother. Nice. That's what still. happens. I'm going to. It's summer Lean body. and mean. Here we go. They'll touch gloves. Round number two. Once again, the lavender trunks. German. German stalking his opponent. Oh. Tried to get that head kick up there. That was a that was a nice little crane kick. Yeah, nice little crane kick attempt. Cobra Kai. Got some has him pressed up against the cage now. Looking to switch his hips and take him down, which he has done. He's in the half guard of Toby, trying to land some blows. Toby locks up his full guard. German doing a good job here in his debut. He's in yeah, the he's open guard right now of Fuentes. Fuentes looks like he might. It looked like he was going to maybe bring that left leg down and go for a half butterfly or a butterfly guard there. Yeah, he's got the one foot on the hip. I'm wondering if he's trying to set something up or just break the posture and avoid these strikes. Yeah, he's going back to that body, Megatron. And, and he was working that side for a while, but he was also working the other side quite handily as well. What I don't like, I was going to say what I don't like is that Fuentes really isn't doing anything from the bottom. He hasn't thrown any. Now he's at least grabbing a leg there, like maybe he'd go for a, a triangle or something, but he hasn't really thrown any sub attempts. Right, I thought he was maybe looking to try to set up a triangle with the way he's positioning his guard. And he could right. very well be. Well, especially when he reached down and grabbed that hook right. on that left leg. 
Hammer fist coming in hot and heavy. Doeg's winning this fight, and he's got the takedown. He's had plenty of ground and pound. Somebody's bleeding. Yeah, they're pain. Where it is, it's either the back of the head of, of Fuentes or Doev might be bleeding. Can't really tell. They are painting the canvas, though. Absolutely. <laughs> Brian Tyler Brian brings up. Let's see where the blood's coming from here. Oh, left eye of Fuentes is busted open. Ah, okay. So I have it two rounds to none for Toby Fuentes. Same here. Flash. Gilbert Melendez in the corner there. He'll need to talk to his fighter. He's going to need a finish here, Megatron. Yeah, German. German's bringing it to him. See if he can gather his thoughts and come up with a new game plan for round three. You'd like to see a guy, though, that comes out. It's his first fight. He's debuting, taking on a guy who's had a few fights, who's coming out of a legendary camp. You know, he's he's basically on enemy ground because Gilbert Melendez is in the cage, which is going to make his fighter an automatic favorite. Right. Because people know who he is. And so, you know, and to come out and put on what he's putting on, he's got the kid's got basketball shorts on, Megatron, <laughs> but he's fighting. You know what I mean? He's, he's earning the respect right now. Third and final round, and as we said, uh, Fuentes is going to have to do something here. Fuentes comes out the aggressor this time. Oh. And I'm sorry, I had a two rounds to none German Doev is yeah. what I meant to say, not Fuentes. I apologize, guys. Have not seen either one of these guys fight before, and that's rare for me. There's a lot of guys on the show I have not seen fight. A lot of guys I have. Uh, Darren Kumar, David Scuba will be fighting later on tonight. Salvador Cuevas, I know. So some of these guys I know. Some of them I do not. German attempted a little head throw there, and it didn't work, but now he's back on top. I can tell he's a wrestler, too, because he's got that that top of his head driving into the chin right. and the throat area of Fuentes. Brian Tyler looks on. I call him the runway model when I'm ring announcing. <laughs> he didn't used to have the beard, and he was actually a pretty good-looking dude. I don't know what happened to him. German still applying the top pressure. Fuentes can't stay here. He, he cannot be content to just lay here on his back. He's not even going to a hip. You know as well as I do in jiu-jitsu, if you're going to do anything, you need to be going to his side, a hip. You can't just lay flat on your back. Switch your hips. Put, up. Oh, blood stoppage. <laughs> going to have the doctor look at it. It's going to be Dr. Gary Furness, maybe, if that's what they're doing here. Oh, no, I think we got an illegal strike. Oh, back of the head. Oh, so he struck works? him in the back of the head. So what happened was he, he landed a couple strikes to the back of the head. He got a little uh, excited. Brian Tyler stopped the action and stood them up, which is the best thing that could have happened for Fuentes. Even if he was to end up getting knocked out here, really it's the best possible outcome for him because he wasn't doing much from his back. Right. And at least here he has a chance to finish the fight, which both Billy Ray and I believe he's going to have to do to win this fight. Yeah, because German just came out with a couple of really good significant strikes. Little one two combo. Up. And this time it's Fuentes on top. Let's see what he does. Fuentes with the takedown. Guillotine attempt from, uh, when, or from uh, German. It, you know what I mean? He's got the, the arm hooked. Yeah. He started to position his hand like maybe he was going to look for a Dars. Let's I give a round of applause for these two German fighters. won this opening contest here at. SF Combat. I'm, I'm in agreement. We'll see what the judges have to say. Great performance by both fighters, but German came out in his debut match proving that he belongs here. Yeah, uh, amazing debut for German Doev here at SF Combat. Came out, dominated rounds one and two, was winning round three before he inadvertently landed a head strike. They were pulled apart. Actually, Fuentes' biggest shining moment came in the last minute right. of round number three, but it was just a little too little too late. I have known Megatron for got to be 12 years now. 
No, from, we're talking like 20. Probably, yeah. yeah. It's a long time. It's been like it, 20 years. We, I've been at shows where you commentated. You've been at shows where I've commentated, but we've right. never commentated together. It's a dream come true, man. Yeah. <laughs> You've commentated so many jiu-jitsu tournaments that I've actually done. Yeah. I, man, I, I just remember watching you dominate everyone at, at uh, Sergio Silva's shows. Was Sergio Silva? Yeah. Yeah. He put up, man, he used to put on a show a month. Missed that guy. I don't know what he's doing. Those those uh those guys from Brazil, man, there's something wrong with them. <laughs> They're all crazy. God I you. Waiting for the judge's decision. Donna Sabe will get the official decision and let us know who won this fight. We both know who won this fight. And if it's not German Doev, then they obviously should have us judging the fights. <laughs> I don't know if I want that job. Man, I did that for a while. I hated it. Oh, yeah. And it's like, I mean, I don't know. My buddy Chris Lieben started judging fights. And he All actually right, judged let's bring it together. That I oh, here we go. And we have a unanimous decision for your fighter, fighting out of the blue corner, like we German said. Doev. German Doev. So German Doev picks up his first win in as many fights, represented American Kickboxing Academy well. And that's, that's an old rivalry in Northern California, AKA versus El Nino. Right. So legendary fighters out of both camps. Yeah, you got AKA, you've got Daniel Cormier, you've got, um, Kane Velasquez. Uh, Kane Velasquez. Yeah, you got all those guys. I, even George St. Pierre trained there for a while, left, and then, uh, I mean, yeah, they just, plenty of names. And then, of course, you go to El Nino. And like I said, Kerry Melendez, Leslie Smith, Gilbert Melendez, all those guys over there. And in all the right, days German. That was a was really, Frank really Shamrock. exciting yes. performance. You came out here and you dominated. Bobby How Southwind. do you feel about your oh work tonight? Oh, my gosh, Bobby Southwind. It looks like he doesn't speak English. So he's got a translator in there. He, he's saying it was his first fight, but he really enjoyed or it. Or the microphone's you know, off. I he don't was trying it. to put in a show, uh, obviously finish the fight. He's got to hold it up. But the uh, opponent was very mouth. tough. And, uh, yeah, so performance is best. That was a really, really skilled, high-level fight for your first fight. Your opponent obviously had a lot of experience. Um, what do you do in your training to prepare for someone like that? Uh, he's saying basically for now, for this camp, there was nothing particular, you know. He has a good uh, team, obviously, and uh, good background in wrestling, so it obviously helped. So, yeah, just continue so where, where's in the grind. He's from? He from? from originally from Russia, in the Northern Session. He's a world champion in Greco Roman wrestling. That's amazing. Give another round of applause for German. We can't wait to see you back out here again. Until the next time. Of course. So first fight in the books. Next fight coming up will be Zachary Chernoff taking on Robert Aguilar. I don't know Robert Aguilar very well, but I know his camp very well. Last stand fight team, Professor Tom Theophanopoulos. Michael Mayday McDonald came out of that camp. Bad Brad McDonald. You've got um, a lot of guys that came out. Uh, Reed. From what I see, it looks like Robert, this is his debut MMA match. There are two large trucks parked in a handicap. Double parked in a handicap. Can we please have you move your truck when you have a moment? Yeah, actually, uh, I ran into Professor Tom backstage, and I asked him about Aguilar. I said, is he good? He said, he's really good. He's one of my best students. And I said, okay. And I, I'd actually seen uh, Zachary Chernoff fight before, so I'm, I'm interested in this fight. He's uh, Zachary's with North Bay. Is that um, Mikio? I believe so, yes. Mikio Riggs? And the fight that I saw him was at first round fights, and that was back in August of last year right. when he fought uh, Dominic Caratero. 
All but right. He fights. This will be our last fight that's streamed on YouTube. If you're on YouTube, please move over to our live stream on VStub when you have a chance. Thank you. So for our second bout in the, of the evening, please welcome out of the blue corner, Robert Aguilar. Now here comes Aguilar. He'll come down to the cage with Professor Tom Theophanopoulos. Justin Smitley, another good guy out of that camp that fought Bellator a few times. It's funny, you know, uh, Uriah Faber's coming back. He's going to fight at A1 Combat. Really? Yes. And wow. uh, they have an opponent for him. I won't announce that, although I know who it is. But what I will tell you is that Justin Smitley accosted me at 5150 Fight Night and said, call Uriah right now. I want to fight him. I know he doesn't have an <laughs> opponent yet. He's like, I want to fight him. And, and the reason behind that is that one of Uriah's last fights was at Arco Arena in Sacramento, and he beat Michael Mayday McDonald, who is Justin Smitley's brother. Oh, so he wow. wanted to avenge that loss. That's so he said, okay, if he's coming back, then let me have him. That's a big call out. Yeah. Now I'm excited to see that fight. And Uriah has his own his own uh, company. Yes, A1 company. Combat. Yeah. yeah. I commentated uh, 14 events for them. Uriah and I commentated together. Wow. And um, really good show over there. Tom Anderson won uh, promote pro promotion of the year, Cali Fight Awards last year. In their first year out, Wow. Tom and Uriah won that award. Some of the, I mean, we got some anchors out here. SF Combat being one of them. I think this is show 16 or 17. Yeah, this is 16. And then you've got 559 five, fights out in, you know, uh, the 559, five, obviously. The A1 Combat. You got a lot of shows that have been around a long time. Dragon and House, fighting Dragon out of House, the House, red corner. Out. Please like, welcome. You know, and Steve, Baby Strip, Steve Barnett. Zachary, I mean, he's been around for Cerna. a while even before. Oh, yeah. SF Combat. So Bay Area Combat. Before that, he was even doing shows. In the cage right now is Robert Aguilar, and here comes his opponent, Zachary Chernoff. As we said, his last fight was in August of last year, where he lost. So he's 0-1, looking for his first victory here yes. tonight. And he lost it by unanimous decision, so he went the distance. Right. Looks to be in pretty good shape. Yeah, I remember he put on quite a show last time he was, uh, he was here. Pretty much guarantee this is going to be an explosive fight. Yeah, this should be pretty good. I mean, if, if this kid, uh, Aguilar, is out there training with those guys, Lamar Reed and all those guys, the, the McDonald brothers and everyone out there, then he, this kid can fight. He's coming out to work. Both of them are actually coming out here to work. It's funny because mostly you see guys, like, we're both bodybuilders, and I, I'll admit that my legs aren't what they should be. But if you look at this kid, Aguilar, his legs actually look big for his upper body. I mean, he's got a night. He's put together. But I look at the size of this kid's quads. Yeah, you see the quad sweep coming out. Sheesh. Veteran official, lead official, David Shirley will get the nod here. David and I were actually supposed to fight in a charity exhibition bout about three years ago. And then David caught a glimpse of me hitting the pads at Sergio Salguera's camp, and he decided he did not want to fight me anymore. Did not want to That smoke. is correct. Nice. And I call him out every time I get the chance. Because <laughs> he, he called me out to, for, to begin with. But I do love David Shirley. Really good official, really good referee. And send it up to Don Asabe. Yeah, I want to commentate one of and your fights. And this is bro. SF Combat I Extreme fight this year. 16. I talked to give a big thank you well, to Dent Solution and Paintless Repair. Ego stroke. For our myself. second <laughs> bout of the evening, fighting out of the blue corner. This fighter weighed in at 155 pounds. He stands five feet, eight inches tall. It is his debut, and he fights out of the last stand fight team coming from Sonora, California. Please welcome Robert Aguilar. And fighting out of the red corner. This fighter also weighing at 155 pounds. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, with a record of zero wins with one loss. He fights out of Resurrection Training Club out of Novato, California. Please welcome Zachary Baby Shred Chernoff. Zachary Chernoff 
Red corner, he's got the red tape around the gloves. They're both in black trunks with black kick pads. Anyway, I was going to say, you know, I lost 67 pounds. I started getting ready for that fight, and that fight got canceled. Then I started bodybuilding. I won the USPA National Championship at Bench Press. Nice. And then I decided, hey, I want to get in a little bit better shape, and I want to fight. Well, I called Don Howard, and he said, man, you're old. I said, I know I'm old. I still want to fight. But you got to go through all these medicals, but I am trying to fight this summer one way or another. Here we go. Jabs coming out from both fighters. Explosive in. Explosive beginning. Here we go. Green on, the, green on the back of the trunks belongs to Chernoff. And the monster quads belong to Aguilar. I'm, I can't get over those. Does this guy just do only leg day? And he's, he's showing it with the domination of the stand-up right now. And he's throwing those knees. He's putting those legs to good work. Underhook, overhook. Almost about to take the back. He's got that underhook. Just oh, and he's just throwing hook after hook. Throwing knees, shooting in for the single. Switching to the back. Now looking to take the back. I can only try to pull him down. I'd climb up there, I think, at this point. Make him carry my weight, get my hooks in. That, I, oh, it looked like you might for a second. He missed taking the back a couple of times there, but he's still dominating this exchange. Oh, this double jab and a straight right from Chernoff. Oh, I like the head movement of Aguilar, but he's getting lit up right now. And Chernoff is just walk, coming straight forward with the punches. Rocky Balboa style, no defense, just all gas, no breaks. I like that. How come you never fought in the cage? No, thank you. You're a mutant. You should have fought in the cage. Yeah, I don't like getting punched and kicked. And the object is to punch and kick them, my friend. Yeah. No. Let's give a round of applause for these two fighters. Yeah, Come on. Before, uh, it's a barn burner. I discovered jujitsu. Woo! And once I discovered jujitsu, I did not look back. You can never look back. <laughs> I will not. Or as Apollo Creed said, there is no tomorrow either. There is no tomorrow. Which is a lie, obviously, because there is a tomorrow. Right. You know what? Forget Apollo Creed. I'm done with that guy. Hey, he's dead. Don't say that. Oh, that's right. <laughs> His kid might come after him. There's no tomorrow for him. Donnie, Adonis Creed. Creed 3 was an amazing movie. I don't care what anybody says. I liked them all. I did, too. I love all those movies. I wish they would have done a spinoff with Dame Anderson. I loved his character. About doing that it. would just be so awesome. Not yeah. going to lie. Look at the smile on Chernoff's face. This guy's at the club right now. He's clubbing. Yeah, he's having fun. He's dancing. He's clapping. Psychopath. Here, Here we, we go. go. Round two. I gave round number one to Aguilar, even though I thought he should have taken the back a couple times there when he had him, but... But he dominated the control. That jab is landing, though, for Chernoff. Chernoff is, is just not going backwards at all. SF Combat 16, Napa Valley Expo, Jim Cooley, Billy Ray, Megatron, bringing you guys all the action here tonight. Right now it is Aguilar up against the cage. Chernoff with the underhooks, but he gets taken down, and that was a big left hand. I think the knee is what took him down. The knee to the uh, bread Oh, basket. he's hurt. Oh, he's hurt dead. bad. He's hurt real bad. I don't know if he was saying he got hit low. Was he playing possum right there, Billy Ray? I don't know. I think I think that first knee knocked the wind out of him. Then it looked like he might have been grabbing his groin area like he thought he got hit low. Possibly. Those knees are, I mean, we said, we talked about the quads earlier. Yeah. Those knees are got to hurt. Oh, big shot. Oh. Chernoff's got him hurt. Aguilar's oh, he hurt. Caught him. Aguilar goes caught back him. to the knees. Chernoff needs to create separation and let his hands go. And he could finish this fight. These are only two-minute rounds. He doesn't have a lot of time. Aguilar was on shaky legs for a second Absolutely. There. Here's a mouse on his left eye. Chernoff needs to turn it up right now and let his hands do work. These guys are leaving it all in the ring right now. Third round. Second round? Second round. Second round, yes. This is still the second round, and they are going at it. 
Looks like the, both of them got their composure back. Yeah, for a second there, like you said, Chernoff with rubber legs. I mean, not Chernoff, uh, Aguilar from the shot from Chernoff. Well, well Chernoff had the shirky legs from the, uh, the knees. Yes. And then Aguilar caught one. So both guys making a huge recovery from the beginning of this round. That was a dragon punch. <laughs> Show Ryukin. He didn't know what button to push on the controller for a second. <laughs> He's just pushing all the buttons. I can't. This is a button masher. That dragon punch was about 10 feet <laughs> too far away. Woo! But it was a hell of a round by both guys. If he throws a fireball in round three, I'm leaving. And this Please is join us at our after fight. party Let's at go. Palisades Listen, in downtown Let me Napa. just tell you what just <laughs> happened in the corner at Chernoff. He went over to his corner and started dancing. And his <laughs> his corner man had to snatch him up and drag him over to the stool. He's like, no, we're not dancing. You're going to sit down and listen to what I have to say. <laughs> it's not time for dancing. I don't know what would happen if, if Aguilar tried to dance with Professor Tom in the corner. He might he might get punched. Now they're, they're giving him both an earful right now. I'm curious why Shirley is so intently looking into this corner. Okay, maybe it's not much, but... Sometimes when they do that, they're worried that a guy's hurt, and that could have been from that exchange where he fell into the corner and was a little wobbly. Great. Third and final stanza. I have it one round to one round right now. I think it's 19-19. Yeah, I think it's about even. This is where we're going to find out who wins this fight. I mean, it could go either way. This is one of those fights where I'm glad I'm not a judge. Let's see what they do here in the last round. Crowds into it. Will they touch gloves? Yes. Mutual display this of is, respect. And they, I guarantee you his corner said, let your hands go. You're going to knock him out. And if he does, he will. Check that leg kick, too. I like it. Chernoff, a different fighter in round three than he was in round one. He's coming after it. Sits him down in yep. the corner with a big double leg. Chernoff right now, if this stays like it is, is going to win this fight regardless. Aguilar slowing it down now. He's got I him in a half guard. I see chips and salsa. No. <laughs> for a second, I was like, Triangle what attempt. the hell does that mean? Oh, he's going to go for a, a omoplata. omoplata. But he's got, Chernoff's got the knee stopping and that gonna from it's going to be hard to do that with the cage right there as well. And Chernoff's got his knee in his uh, in his stomach. Oh, now he does. Oh, now he oh. does. Yeah, there's, he's oh. Okay, now this is going to spell trouble. Both guys back up. Chernoff still eating those knees. This guy's a Muay Thai fighter, plumbing up and just throwing knees. Not as significant, but he is still throwing them. Gas tanks are looking a little depleted now, but these guys are not stopping. I would love to have a count of how many knees Aguilar's throwing. He just ate a big right hand. Chernoff lands another big left. And right now, Aguilar is in survival mode because he is getting absolutely lit yeah, up. Chernoff is just throwing him. Aguilar and better step it up. I feel like it's leaning in Chernoff's favor right now. If Chernoff could make his oh, punches a bit kick. crisper, a bit straighter, he'd probably knock him out. Beautiful straight kick. I would not have done that. You're winning on your feet. I mean, oh, he, he lands down. the double leg, and that's great, but I think he had a chance to finish this fight standing up. Short time. Okay, so this is one of those fights, Megatron, that could go either way. I think Chernoff has done enough to win this fight. I do too. But it's not where That's what jump I'm up talking about. That's SM Combat Extreme but I think 16. He did. Very close. But I Let's think give another round of applause well. for these the fighters. The look on Tom Theophanopoulos' face says he thinks Chernoff won the fight as well. And I trust his judgment. Probably the toughest guy in the building. Besides me. Right. I'm an animal. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Fight number two in the books. Don Asabe shaking his head. He liked that one. Don Asabe, one of the uh, owners here at SF Compact. Also the ring announcer, stealing money out of my pocket. Love it. We got a capacity crowd here for a Friday night as well here at SF Combat 16. Napa came out in force to support their fighters. And what kind of fight night would it be without Eye of the Tiger? I'm kind of dancing right now. I'm not going to lie. We were just talking about Rocky and Apollo. Diamond Dame Anderson will be fighting later tonight. Not here, but somewhere in the world.
once we get this official decision, guys, we will move on to Noah Jones taking on Justin Verveal. Napa Valley MMA, so he'll, he should have some people in the crowd here tonight. Big heavyweight fight as well. Yes, big boys. That's our weight division, Billy. Yes. What are you weighing right now? I'm low. I'm 230. I'm Two, real low. I'm 255. Before I announce okay. this, I want to say that was an amazing fight for both of these fighters. Let's have another round of applause for these guys. Yeah, I lost. They I both lost came out here. They both fought their hearts out. That was one of the best fights I've seen in a long time. Thank you. So we have a unanimous decision for your winner, fighting out of the blue corner. Wow. Robert. The crowd didn't Aguilar. like that either. The crowd Robert. didn't like it. The coaches didn't like it. Aguilar doesn't even think he won the fight. I don't. I don't know if that was read correctly. You never know. The judges are could unanimous. Be, could though. Have been looking for something that we did not see. Could have been the knees. I guess those nonstop I knees. I don't know. I mean, you heard the crowd's reaction. They didn't. They didn't think he won. And the positional control in the uh, the cage exchanges. It could have been that positional control. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> I like that. Hey man, I'm just trying to keep up with. I've been doing this for years. I never heard that before. <laughs> I'm gonna start using it. It's, it it's maybe it. in other situations as well. It's because I do jujitsu. Jiu-jitsu. I have Robert. a different, different set of that words. Great fight. I say that 